Hey everybody, Chip Towers of the Atlanta Journal-Constitution back here at Butts Mayor Heritage Hall in Athens on a windy and cool fall day. Uh, finally feels like uh, fall around here and that must be mean there's some big football to be played and there is this week uh, the uh, Georgia Bulldogs which who dropped from six to seven in the latest polls this week take uh, take on number 25 Missouri. Both teams undefeated in the SEC this week and Georgia gonna have to take them on with a uh, with a beat up and battered uh, roster. He lost uh, three players this past weekend. Uh, still don't know if Todd Gurley's gonna be back. But, but the theme of the day uh, here is Georgia coaches and players addressed uh, reporters over here was next man up. You know, heading in the season, everyone's talking about, you know, the best, you know, running back tandem in the country with, with Todd and Keith and then both of them out. It's, you know, you know what's, what now, what, you know, what are we gonna do? Uh, people are probably thinking. and. And uh, you know we we know we had two very good young backs, but I think the the biggest thing is just how well the offensive line's playing. I mean, even I can run the ball 53 yards if you know the way our offensive line's blocking right now. As uh, far as Georgia's defense, they've obviously struggled mightily uh, all year. Uh, you know, uh, even against Tennessee, which was one of the poorer uh, offensive teams in the SEC. That's not the case with Missouri this week. Oh yeah, we definitely got to do better. You know, what we, how we've been playing lately, you know, it's not acceptable. You know, we're not happy with that. And uh, we got to make some improvements. I mean, and it's not that we getting physically beat at all. You know, it's really just, if you look at the film, you know, we we, 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 we making mistakes. You know, like I said, we just keep hurting ourselves. Well, one of the first things we got to do is get lined up. They're, they're fast. Uh, they may be the fastest team as far as tempo. Running a play, getting on the line, running another play, running another play. Um, so we got to get lined up. We got to get in position, and then we just got to, uh, as always, try to uh, win first and second down. Try to get them into a third down and medium or long situation. So that's what we heard over here on Athens today. Georgia will continue to work the rest of the week and get ready for this weekend's uh, 12 o'clock ball game. Georgia's going to kick off on ESPN. Uh, Coach Rick and imploring fans to to get there early and be as fired up as they have been for the South Carolina and LSU games that were played uh, later in the day. We'll find out later in the week whether Todd Gurley can make it back. In the meantime, Georgia's got to go with what they got, and we will too. For now, this is uh, Chip Towers with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. See you next time.